Halo Sobat Aliper Salam jumpa kembali Bagaimana kabar anda semua hari ini Semoga selalu diberikan kesehatan Dan selalu dilimpahkan rezekinya oleh Tuhan Yang Maha Kuasa Di video kali ini Ada banyak musisi yang sedang memeriksa Cover Alibata Sweet Chalomain Dari Gun Roses Welcome everybody to the channel My name is Rick Getting into Alibata Kopi mana kopi I already had my copy Anyways, let's get into it right now Like and subscribe Here we go The problem is, right, is that I can't separate the art from the artist if the art is bad because of the artist. So, for example, Guns N' Roses have the exact same issue that uh, the Smashing Pumpkins have, which is that good songs, terrible fucking singing. And uh, is it in tune? Aye. Is it a nice tone to listen to? Not a fucking slightly. Not a slightly. Horrible to listen to. I tried to listen to Melancholy and Infinite Sadness a couple of days ago. Couldn't get put, couldn't get through a full song. It was fucking zero. It's a good song. <laughs> Had to put it off. His voice is fucking insufferable. Seriously, one-handed? You gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He is ridiculously talented. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I can't believe he's doing this one hand, and now I can, now I can hardly wait to see what he does with this one. I'm gonna stop for a second because now I understand the finger style. He's he's doing the fingering instead of like plucking or strumming. He's using the finger style. I get it now. I get it. <laughs> wait, what? You I just. You can just play the guitar with one hand. I mean, I guess now I truly know what finger style is. It's just weird it's just seeing one hand do it because you always see two hands on a guitar. That is crazy. What I picture when you play the guitar like this, but he is just like turned the whole world of guitar playing on its head for me. That's unbelievable. I'm just going to pause it before he gets really into it. Yeah. Because I just want to say, it's one of the most iconic sort of like uh, intros to yeah, a song, isn't 100%. it? Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah. Sort of thing. But this it, is, uh, I love things like, I mean, I love listening to street vendors. I was in, yeah, a, shop, yeah. I was in a shop the other day and um, the woman said, do my head in. And I was like, the violinist outside. And she went, yeah. <laughs> and I went, okay, going on. And it wasn't a, wasn't the best violinist. Yeah. But it was okay. Yeah. But after a while, you kind of like that noise, right. sort of like you're thinking yeah. enough sort of thing. Well, we have, uh, obviously, in, in Manchester, we have like, we have the Jamaicans that do reggae all the time. Yeah. We've got mm -hmm. Radman, if you remember yeah. Radman. Mm -hmm. He's just like some yeah. rapper or gamma man, he might, he might, his name might be. And then, I don't, I don't mind buskers if they're good. That's the thing. Piccadilly rats. Yes, Piccadilly mm. Rats. I've mm. seen them live. Yeah. <laughs> they, mm. were, they were good back in the day. This is, this is mint, this though. This is, I really yeah. like the sound of that. I just I could listen to things like this for ages. You can tell the talent of the man because oh. he looks so bored doing it mm. and it's just so natural going off, yeah, the, uh, off his hands. Mm. We're going to start from the beginning, but this, in case you guys don't know, this right here, it's called a capo. Essentially, it takes the place of like barring your finger on that whatever fret it's on, right? So this beginning where he's playing with one hand, it's impossible without a capo unless you were to tune your guitar differently. It allows him to play that part with one hand without strumming. That's really cool. Again, it's used a lot to create open string, open playing without retuning the guitar, right? Really cool, uh, but that's kind of a, a simple thing. But I want you guys to notice that the left hand, so his fretting hand, is playing the guitar part, and his right hand, the tapping, is playing the bass part. Really, really cool. He's playing two instruments here at once. It's actually infuriating watching this guy. <laughs> it's, it's actually anglesome. He's not even, like, plucking the strings. He's just sitting there tapping, tapping that whole lead line. And then I was like, well, how's he going to get the rest of it? I just, he's barely paying attention to what he's doing. There's no fucking, there's no fucks given there. 
and he's breaking out some absolutely astonishing guitar work effortlessly. Absolute prick. <laughs> and then you've got stupid bastard here that can't even fucking barely can strum a chord. What, what, what am I doing? <laughs> the bitterness is sweating out of me right now. I love that he does the entire song, every instrument on the guitar. He's not just covering like the guitar part of the singing, he's doing the whole damn band. And that makes it even better, dude. I mean, honestly. It's amazing how he does this. I mean, as a guitar player, I'm sitting here going, how the hell does he incorporate all the things he's doing at the same time and then also sing with the guitar as if he's Axl Rose? His guitar playing always takes me on vacation though. Anytime I hear him play guitar, I'm just like transported to a tropical island, to a beach, to my happy place. Seriously, like I can't get over how good he is. Like I wish I could play guitar this good, but you can hear the lyrics in there. You can hear the guitar in there from Slash. Like I seriously don't know how he does this. I don't know how anybody does this, but he's ridiculously talented on this. Like this is just crazy good. He. He makes it look so effortless and he's just so gentle with the guitar when he does it and it just comes out like he's in every part and it's and you, like we all say you can almost hear the lyrics <sighs> the man's got a gift that's all i have to say he's got a gift i wish i had it but at least i'm here to enjoy it <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> What this does very, very, very well is give you an appreciation for how actually good and pretty and nicely constructed this song is without having to listen to Axl Rose's voice. And for that, this man deserves all the flowers. All of the fucking flowers. As much as I currently hate him, because I have been struggling. Right, okay, so, to clarify. I have started making my own album because I've sat here, I have been judging everybody and then one reaction, I said, oh, that song makes me want to pick up my guitar again. And everybody went, what would you do, Mark? And I said, I'd write an album. And they went, do it. And then they bought me stuff. This bugger, right? It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen. They bought me stuff to make an album. So now I have to make an album they fail to take into account, I'm shit at that guitar. And then I'm watching this clown <laughs> just coming along and going, ha ha ha, I'm not even looking. <laughs> it's just, it's just sheer, a sheer wall of contempt coming down here. Yeah, no, the guy's amazing. The guy's absolutely he's fucking incredible. <laughs> I'm still sitting here racking my brain trying to figure out how he does the lead solo of, you know, the lead stuff that Slash does, along with tapping his hand as a drummer, doing the bass, he's holding the bass line, he's doing the singing that acts. I, I, I'm just so blown away. I cannot stop being mesmerized by this guy. So I'm thinking here, too, he's got a five, there's a five, it's a five piece man. And he's hitting the percussionary parts of it, or the drumming. I mean, you can hear it, and then the rhythm guitar, lead guitar singing. And I, is not just playing it melodically, he's playing it very intricately, all the way, uh, all the little parts. And I got to stop it somewhere. I don't want to get any issues <laughs> with blocking it, but I don't know if he does, but I could, I could listen to this many times over. It's really cool. So I'm noticing this time that instead of having any kind of like attachment to the front of the guitar um, near the uh, soundboard or the sound opening, 
He's actually tapping the upper string on the on the uh, guitar for that um, drum sound, which is awesome. Didn't know you could do that. Uh, I guess you learn something every day. Uh, I don't know that much about playing guitar, to be honest with you, so I'm kind of learning about this as I go, watching him and other um, videos that I react to, so but this is just crazy good. <laughs> Now, if anyone out there plays the guitar, can you tell me how difficult this really is? I mean, someone who's not really like musically gifted, like it's clearly like this is hard, but from someone who's plays the guitar, how hard is doing what he does? It seems like he's playing two different songs with his hands like his right hand and left hand are doing two different things so like imagine this is very difficult oh my god Oke sobat semuanya, itu tadi beberapa reaksi-reaksi kita hari ini Semua musisi dan gitaris merasa bodoh setelah melihat yang dilakukan Alibata Bagaimana menurut anda semua? Semoga dapat menghibur Sampai berjumpa di video-video selanjutnya Salam Aliper Indonesia